It's a complex issue and clearly does not apply to all foreclosures, but some people who've managed to stay in their homes for five years after foreclosure proceedings started may get to stay there home free. People like Matthews, who lost his job in 2007 and hasn't paid a penny on his nearly $190,000 mortgage since, but yet he still lives in his condo. The reason? Some judges have ruled the lender's right to sue expires five years after they first filed for foreclosure. So if the lenders lost their foreclosure cases and haven't brought another one in five years, homeowners like Rodolfi and Matthews get to stay. We learned that there is an actual statute of limitations on these kind of things, five years from the initial filing. Not so, banks argue, saying that the five-year clock restarts every time a borrower misses a payment. Now it's up to the Florida Supreme Court to decide, but for now at least, real estate attorney Roy Oppenheim has helped Matthews and others retain their homes by obtaining this, a dismissal due to statute of limitations having run. But he cautions the rulings do not apply to just anyone who stops paying a mortgage. Is the house yours? No, a lot has to happen before, before that. First of all, you have to win your case. But if you do win, the bank is SOL. The bank is SOL. Do you think you've done anything wrong? No, not necessarily. I mean, it seems kind of un-American, honestly, if they can keep coming at me for something they've already lost on twice. Now, if you're thinking of stopping your mortgage payments and keeping your house, Oppenheim says times have changed, that banks now have the time and the experience to make it more likely they will win in court and that a foreclosure will stick. So he does not advise it. But for those caught in a five-year-plus fight for their homes who have had the foreclosure dismissed, he says there may be hope once the Florida Supreme Court rules.